Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. Thank you. So what is this? Three years ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. <laughs> this was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy. So feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Seriously. Get some rest, okay? Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. That Cisne lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they looked the other way. Willful negligence killed those people. And everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious, but for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Right ones. Correct. I suppose this scent does make it rather obvious. The soil here is exceptionally easy on the paws, as if it exudes life itself. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Pilaf, I guess. What's in that again? Well, rice, bit of soup stock, and what else? <laughs> you know what? It's better if you just taste it. I'll make it for you sometime. Imagine eating Gangaga mushrooms every day. Now that's luxury for ya. Imagine eating Gangaga mushrooms every day. Now that's luxury for ya.
the trick you must have made to get here. This is your friendly reminder from the youthful vision. Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Mushrooms. What? Cause it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe. Still, you might be onto something. The Gaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to break in.
you lacking luxuries? They make up... Why, hello, Cloud. Did you enjoy your boat? The tires are reinforced to provide traction, and even the... Which means you can explore the dunes at your leisure. This also means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Something's up with the reactor. But the GYC is on top of it. Oh, the old reactor is being creepy again? Shocker. of the planet open your hearts to the words of our mother beneath your rich fertile fields a rock runs deep it seeps down creeps into the very bosom of the planet she cries out in need of your aid goddamn bro got to my crop before i could This old clavier? I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. 
It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of... Would you care to share a performance with me? Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even... There's no finer sound in all the world. We've gone to great lengths to destroy. Should you stumble upon a piece in your travels, I hope. How may I be of service to you? I regret that I've nothing to award you at this time. For the life stream is all. Without it, this planet we call... Come in. 
please. Hmm? Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach? Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zack. Zack Fair. Zack? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him and to please get in touch? Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> Here. Sorry. Every time someone says they're from Midgar, we can't help but hope that person knows our son. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. All this talk of another war has me worried. But I know I'm not the only mother afraid for her son. of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know, I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. You're too hard on yourself. Bet it was good for them to get it all out. I hope you're right. So, this Zack guy, you still like him? <laughs> wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. No letters. 
Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. Our little village is playing the game as the delicious Kondaga Mountain. something about this could say that yeah you've been hearing it for a while for a few days now yeah the coalition tried to investigate but some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor oh, all they did was fly around just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough more than enough no ain't that something you could see them uh, yeah of course why? Do you know what they are? Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You, young lady, are on guard duty. Oh, come on! I just want to help out! Be a part of the team! Yeah, but you've been a real team player. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort.
something to do with the reactor, isn't it? Oh, that noise. It's nothing serious, right? Just head straight south. The guard knows you're coming. Yeah, then we can spread the wealth around. It's something to do with the reactor, isn't it? The captain filled me in. You can head on through. As if weapons weren't enough. Now the whispers are back. Come again? What's a whisper when it's at home? An arbiter of fate. They appear when destiny is about to be altered. Ensure it maintains its intended course. I thought we already changed it, though. We did, at once. But perhaps now we preside over a new fate. How? That's what you get for being curious.
With me! Keep it Yeah. 